coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Where are the most drones? Las Vegas, according to research. DJI introduces Racing Edition Goggles. An expert drones in Marriott International to bring drone racing to the W. Fort Lauderdale Hotel. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. If you're looking for a thriving drone community, look no further than Las Vegas. According to research conducted by Bard College in New York, the 89117 zip code has the largest number of hobbyist drone registrations at 672. The researchers analyzed data from the FAA's registration database. The residential area west of the Strip had about 200 more registered hobby drones than the next highest zip code, a suburb of Houston, Texas. The FAA has records of 836,796 hobbyist drone users and 106,739 commercial users. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS hobby drone communities. A man has been arrested for using a drone to drop anti-media leaflets over two NFL games on Sunday. The aircraft is operated over Levi Stadium in San Francisco during the 49ers Seattle Seahawks game, and then again over the Coliseum Stadium in Oakland, California, where the Denver Broncos were playing the Raiders. The UK Ministry of Transport is recommending new laws to go into effect next year that would restrict drone flight near airports following reports of more than 50 near misses between UAVs and airliners in the past year. Parliamentary Undersecretary for the Department of Transport Baroness Elizabeth Sugg said the number of such incidents makes a need to act clear. The legislation, which is backed by BALPA, would also give police broader authority to land drones thought to be involved in criminal activity. Workhorse Group will conduct the first manned flight of its Surefly personal hybrid octocopter on January 8th in Las Vegas, prior to the start of the 2018 CES. The date is dependent on several factors, including weather, regulatory approval from the FAA, and local municipalities. Surefly is scheduled to be statically displayed at CES in Las Vegas, January 9th through 12th, 2018. A hiker reported overdue on the Appalachian Trail in Giles County, Virginia, was located by Giles County Emergency Medical Services using a FLIR-equipped drone last week. The hiker's daughter contacted the rescue service, and once the aircraft was airborne, the hiker was located within five minutes. The general location of the hiker was determined using GPS signals from his cell phones, but that was not accurate enough to pinpoint where he was. The drone belongs to a local company which uses it for building inspections, but the company recently offered its use to EMS if needed. In this case, it was. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DJI has introduced an enhanced version of the DJI goggles targeted at drone racers, aerial enthusiasts, and RC hobbyists. The new DJI goggles racing edition take on a completely new look with a redesigned metallic matte black visor and headband. DJI has also developed an external OcuSync Air unit and camera module, which can be installed or mounted on any drone or aircraft to provide operators using the DJI Goggles RE with real-time FPV. When paired with DJI OcuSync Air unit, the DJI Goggles RE can display videos through 2.4 or 5.8 GHz digital video transmissions, with latency as low as 50 milliseconds and a maximum control range of up to 7 kilometers. Two pairs of DJI Goggles RE or an extra Mavic Pro controller can be connected to give a spectator the same perspective as the pilot from the DJI Goggles RE or viewed via a smart device when connected to a Mavic Pro controller. 
On a full charge, DJI Goggles RE are fully operational for a maximum of 6 hours. Priced at $549, the DJI Goggles RE will start shipping soon. Expert drones at Marriott International have brought drone racing to W Hotels through an event called Drone Dash. Drone Dash brings the world of drone racing to the hotel space as the immersive drone race took place inside and outside the property of the newly renovated W Fort Lauderdale Hotel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Drone Dash provides hotel guests with a first-hand experience of the excitement offered by drone racing as the drones will race around the property and highlight the dramatic renovation and beachside views from a perspective unlike ever before. The entire interactive experience is brought to guests by the Expert Drones National Race Team, which is made up of some of the top drone pilots in the world. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.